Hey guys, welcome to Rudra Tech Tutorial and in this chapter 26 of Angular 8 unit testing with Jasmine and Karma, we are going to look at private methods. Objective of this video is how to unit test private methods of a component. So, I am making this video on a request of a subscriber who wanted to understand how to unit test the private methods of a particular component. Now, let's go and see the code first. Now, here is the event test component that I had created earlier for event testing. I am going to reuse this component again for testing the private methods. Now, in this event test component, I have added two private methods. First is addition and second is set message. Now, the addition is having parameters whereas the set message is not having any parameters. And for unit testing these two methods, I have created a separate private method test spec.ts. Now, in this one, we have our test suit created where I have declared component, fixture and a debug element. Along with that, testbed configuration testing module is created. And in the second before each, I have created the instance for fixture, component and debug element. I have also executed the fixture.detect changes here. Then, let's go and see our first unit test case. Now, in this unit test case, we are going to unit test a private method. Now, if it had been a public or a protected method, we would have called it like this component dot set message. But since it is a private method, we are going to call it like component within the square brackets. We are going to set set msg, then the parenthesis. Now, in this set msg, we have set a message variable. So, we are going to expect component dot message to be sample text which is the text that we have set in the method then coming back to our second unit test case in the second unit test case we are going to unit test a method with parameters so here we have component and in the addition method i'm going to pass two parameters which will be added and total will be calculated so we're going to expect component dot total to be 30. Now, both the unit test case will pass and if you want to unit test a particular private method, you can unit test it by calling like this. Now, let's go and see their output on the browser. So, here you can see both the unit test cases, one without parameters and the other with parameters have been executed successfully. Now, this is how you can unit test the private methods of a component and I hope you have liked this video. Do subscribe and thank you.